All right, it's Minister Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. And today we are going to go ahead and check out room 19007 here at Vidara Hotel and Spa. Let's get this started. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. All right, so it's a tap key. Now, I'm sure you guys probably got a little preview of this during the VIP check-in video. They took me straight upstairs, so now we're gonna go ahead and start with the proper room tour. So, here I am, showing you we got a full length body mirror. So, if you need to pose, make sure that you're good to go before you take off and hit the strip. This is where you start. Um, we also have a little kitchenette over here. So, up top, we've got cabinets all over the place. So, if you need anything like cookware, flatware, anything like that, just go ahead and call downstairs and then they'll deliver it to you. So that's pretty nice. Um, same deal over here, so we have dishes and the sink that we can get. Uh, there's a bin under there too, rubbish bin. And then we also do have an electric stove top. So it goes the other direction here in case you guys wanna go do some marshmallow roasts and all that. Uh, Chef Mike is right here in suite, so if you need to heat up any leftovers from last night, you can do that here. Uh, mini bar is also included here, not included in the price, it's just physically here. So if you pick these up, these are gonna charge you. Don't touch them. Uh, now a nice thing about this is that the mini bar is locked so people don't accidentally grab things. But on the other side, we do have a mini fridge so you can put your own water and drinks and snacks in here for yourself. So that's it. That's a nice extra little add on. Walking into the sitting area, do have a nice little sitting area with check in information. This was for my VIP check in here. And uh, oh, and I also get club lounge, whatever that means. I don't know what that means, but I seem to have gotten a complimentary add on, something about a club round, lounge there and then a taste of the Aria campus so I can see what all the uh, restaurants and all the foods like and nice things like that. So we'll check that out later. So sitting area, ice bucket per usual, just fill that on up. And then of course we have the uh, flat screen tally over here. Also nice and clean, you can see me. And then extra drawers on the TV stand set up your PlayStation. It's got the little holes over here and you can even plug in your laptop if you want to and then you can project it on the television screen as well. So that's pretty dope. Uh, we've got a couch, sitting area couch. I don't think it's a pull out. Oh, actually this is a pull out bed. So if your degenerate friends want to hang out with you and pass out on your couch, you can go ahead and pull that out for them and they can just go ahead and crash right there. And they even have their own nice little night light for themselves to enjoy. <laughs> nice. All right. We also have a nice little sitting desk over here so we can write out our own little messages over here. Uh, here in a little silent siren, so we're getting a little bit of street noise. We're on the 19th floor, so that's not too bad, all things considered. And then we also have, here's the coolest bit over here, the Vidara tablet, so we can visit with R2-D2. They're supposed to be coming up to bring me some stuff pretty soon, so I'll show you guys that when we order. And then obviously stuff in the nightstand. I uh, haven't found the old Bible yet. So maybe that's a practice they've stopped doing. I remember they used to put one in every single one. And then you got your king size bed over here. Lots of extra pillows. Unfortunately, I'm staying by myself. So, you know, there's that. But on the bright side, I've got the whole bed to myself. I'm going to enjoy that. Yep. More drawers over here. Not much else to them. And then let's go ahead and get over to the closet. So you actually do get a full-size closet here. It's not quite a walk-in closet. This isn't quite as insane as Signature at MGM Grand, but you crack this open, you got a place for your luggage. And then of course they include complimentary pairs of slippers. In case you wanna go downstairs, you wanna hit the spa or hit the pools or what have you. Uh, pools are third floor, stair or a spa is second floor. And then, of course, you've got your uh, hangers over here. Iron up top if you're so inclined. And then you also have your robes if you're also so inclined here. And then most importantly, we have the safe in the back over here. Room safe, works great. 
and there we go. And then when you're done, you hit, you lock it up. And it shows that you're close and you're good to go. Please don't use one, two, three, four though, guys. Come on up. Let's be smarter than that. <laughs> okay. But once you're done with the closet over here, one last very important piece of the room is the bathroom. So when we come in, we do have a little closet for linens. So if you want to put anything down, like I sometimes like to put my phone in here so it doesn't get too exposed to extra moisture and all that, you can do that. Close that up. And it's also got kind of a half mirror so you can check yourself out in the mirror there. Just flex in her. Uh, spa style tub, separate tub from the shower. So you can actually get some soaking done. And it's even got this little towel caddy over here, so you're never too far away from your towels. And then standing shower, standing room only. But it looks like it's good enough for two people, if you know what I mean, if you're into watching TV in the shower. And of course, towels, enough for two people too, if you know what I mean. Uh, unfortunate thing, the there is no water closet. The toilet is right here, so definitely make sure you slide that door closed. And last, but certainly not least, my favorite part of the room is its remote controlled shades over here. See, if you use the force or just those little buttons that I pressed over there, you get to enjoy your view. So right now they're supposed to be there in the middle of cleaning the windows right now. So I've got a little bit of a smudgy sort of view but I can see uh, the condos across there, get a good view of Aria, and I can even see everyone coming into Vidara and enjoying the pool down there too, and that should be sh opening very shortly, and that's on the third floor. So that'll be pretty fun to go visit. All right, Spinners and Sharks, so that's all the time we got for now. I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick break here, uh, maybe take a nap before we get started, and then I'll run down and do a casino tour. So until next time, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands and happy spending, you guys.